Alright, what's going on, Dime Magazine? This is Jordan Hamilton from the Denver Nuggets. Just want to show you a couple of my shoes. We out here in LA. I'm out here training, and uh, this is what I do in my off time. Shop for kick. Okay. Dreams of making money stack. What's wrong with that? Trying to build a home cop, and now we give a little back. Build a wreck in the tech. Naming after moms, dreams a legacy that ain't wrong. Will it come to song? <laughs> I'm not so, but I'm rock well. I'm a vintage type of guy. I like old shoes from Penny Hardaway's to, to Jordan's to Ken Griffey's, you know, different shoes. Uh, even Adidas, Crazy Eights, things like that. I like old school stuff, and um, that's what I look for. Shoes that already came out from 10 to probably 15, 20 years ago, and try to bring them back to style now. I know that's what a lot of people are doing now, and a lot of companies are recycling their shoes and bringing them back out, and that's what I look for in shoes. These are, uh, uh, they're out here, but because I really like them, I wasn't. I was kind of debating on bringing them out to show you guys, but these are my BBC shoes, and um, real comfortable, unique, all red. Um, I like the inside, so got the cheetah print, or zebra, I should say. So uh, these are special occasion shoes? Yeah, special occasion shoes. Two pair of these. You got to have all white. Yeah, the Jordan 4s. I, uh, I have some three. I have the threes just like I'm also like came out the same day. Those are at my house, though, my home home. Out in LA. With this lockout, is that going to take a hit on your, uh, take a toll on your sneaker game? Uh, not at all, because <laughs> that gives me more time to shop. On, I beg your highness pardon, I had to make a point. Jogging with my jargon, so I wrote the joint. Nobody helped me through it. I, I can sell these right now for about five hundred dollars. These came out. When I was in, the, I remember I was in the eighth grade when these came out, and just got them now. Um, I swear. I can get it, I can get it, I swear, oh, I swear. People need them. The ones that Penny played in, uh, when you watch some of his retro games, things like that, you'll see them with them on. The blue phone posits. I like these a lot. So you're saying this, this isn't, this doesn't even touch your collection now, is what no, you're telling me. No, 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 I got a lot more, I got a lot more Jordans, I got a lot more Adidas, I got a lot more Nikes, stomping shoes. I have an Air Force One collection that I don't have out here. I got a Nike SB that I wore a lot during my freshman year of college. I have about 30 pairs of those. And then a year, I give away about 40 pairs of shoes because I have a lot of friends and stuff. 13, 14 is a common size, and that's the size I wear. And um, I let those guys just have them. They'll come over, they'll be like, let me have these, let me have those. Sometimes I'll be kind of skeptical about it, but I mean, I am a caring person, and maybe if you get on my good list, I'll give you a couple pairs of shoes, you know, once I'm, once I'm done. Now, now you know once the Nuggets veterans see this, they're going to want to take all of your shoes. <laughs> uh, I might be generous and give them a couple, but I'm not going to just let them come in my place and try to take all my kicks. <laughs> also, another Jordan that I like, the 13, they call them the playoffs. It's a really unique shoe, strictly because you can wear them on or off the court. Real comfortable, not too heavy, and uh, not too light. Hirachis, these are probably one of my... Um, other than the pennies, phone posits. Hirachis, I really like Hirachis. One of my favorite pairs of shoes, strictly because of how comfortable they were. I've been wearing these, I can honestly say, probably all my life. Cause I can get it, I can get it, I swear. I can get it, I can get it, I swear. I can get it, I can get it, I swear. I can get it, I can get it, I swear. Oh, I swear. For everyone kind of prematurely bad mouth in this class, you know, what is it to say? Like, you, you know your class, obviously, as well as anybody. I mean, what are you guys going to bring? Yeah, I think just because it wasn't, like, a, a really set, clear-cut number one pick, I think that's why, you know, they said that this draft class wasn't that good. But honestly, I think that's a lot of talent in this draft class. You got guys who can defend. You got guys who can score the ball. And I think that they're going to be good, good players for their teams. And I think that I can definitely help the Nuggets, you know, coming in. And I can definitely do some things, you know, especially – it's not my first year, it's not my second, it's definitely going to be my third, fourth, fifth, sixth year. And um, every night I'm going to bring it, and um, every night I'm going to have energy and play my heart out. And I'm just looking forward to the to the season, even though it's a lockout. We don't know where it's going to start, but, you know, I'm just looking forward to it. And you personally, like, what, what are kind of those those goals you put on your dartboard that you want to hit and, and you know you can this season? Yeah, well, I definitely help the team uh, improve their, improve their uh, winning percentages. Uh, I know that they had a pretty good record this year. Actually, a really good rec record this year. Um, just add to, to, add to the um, wins to the team. Um, Scoring-wise, I want to be one of the top 
scoring leaders in a rookie class, if that's possible, because I'm going to definitely work hard enough to make that happen. Um, oh, you, you know the Nuggets need that go-to scorer. <laughs> are, you their guy, are you that guy? Uh, I think I can be that guy. I think I can definitely be that guy, but uh, it's definitely going to take a lot of hard work. You know, we got two great point guards, and Andre Miller, a better point guard than Ty Lawson, who's one of the fastest guards in the NBA. And, um, you know, playing with those guys is going to be a blessing. Oh, I swear.